be a challenge where I play Grim against any other CEO. The challenge is to beat every other CEO as Grim in Fog, not in Standard. Uh, the reason why, uh, two main reasons. Grim is stronger in Fog than in Standard uh, because he can utilize the Fog as a shield. If you don't have vision, you can attack him. So uh, he can get mm, away more uh, with having less defense. And also uh, because I'm basically uh, good at fog and I'm not good at the standard. So I see no point on trying to do that on a, a standard because I, I won't be able to do it. Also, um, there will be like... Uh, three categories of this challenge. If I'm facing someone uh, really good, um, well, really good, as good as me or better in terms of uh, rating and skill, it will uh, depend on my judgment. Uh, I will give him a, a tier four or tier three CO uh, because I think tier C, uh, three COs are not as problematic for Grimm as tier 4 because basically Grim uh, gets countered by movement and um, in tier 4 there are almost no movement boost um, if you can't lash powers or Andy super but at the end of the world there are almost none and on the other hand in tier 4 almost all uh, CEOs but Sonya have uh, one movement boost and even Sonya with the super power is really scary and the counters um, then there will be like a tier 2, tier 1, uh, which would be very, 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 very hard to deal with Max, with Olaf. I don't think Olaf uh, is that hard compared to Max, because Max with the movement, spamming CO power will blast all my units. Also the same with Bumble, uh, because I won't be able to do as much damage, but uh, he will hit me hard. And also the same with uh, Sturm, that he has low firepower, but it doesn't matter. He will be able to get the two hit KOs on cities, uh, even with such a low firepower. And I will not be doing as much as damage. And then a uh, tier four, a uh, tier four, tier zero, like Hachi, Colin, Kambe, uh, Grit is a tier one in Fog. So yeah, I don't think uh, I will be able to to beat Kambe. Actually, I think it will be the hardest one. Hachi will be very hard too, but he's sorry, he's more map dependent. And Colin, I think Colin is the the easiest one of the tier zero as Grim, just because of the fact that uh, Colin has the weakest early game, but uh, still Colin can uh, uh, utilize her day to day uh, by um, uh, having uh, higher tech units earlier than any other CEO, and uh, still her uh, his minus um, firepower it's not that big of a deal versus a. Uh, a CEO as Grim who has less defense, so you don't need that much damage to to do what you need to do. And also, I didn't mention Shasha. I think might be the easiest one of tier um, one and two. Also, remember that Samin will be uh, in the tier three or four category, depending on the map, but mainly tier four. I think he could be a problem with mechs and utilizing the infantry because he will be able to one shot my infantry if I I will throw the calculation there on CO power. But and no, you don't even need to do that. Like for example, if I want to to sit on my HQ to avoid a victory march or any other city, it's so hard for me to do it because I'm green, I have 10% defense on the first strike, if I lose HP I will have minus defense on a city, it's like, yeah, it's so hard to wall to avoid victory match against Sami, so that will be a tricky one. Anyways, I'm, I have played this match uh, versus Olaf, I have played, uh, I, I'm playing currently versus Yes, but I have, I have been delaying it because, um, 
yeah, I, I have a lot of matches to do and university stuff. So I'm focusing on this for now and the rest will be coming. So uh, let's just straight jump to the video and thanks for watching. I didn't mention this on the intro, but I'm gonna play it only from my point of view to make it a little more interesting. Uh, my opponent is not super experienced per player, like uh, uh, could be um, a 11, 12, uh, 100 ELO on Global League, but he still has some experience with the game, like he's not completely new. But if I'm uh, facing Olaf on equal terms of a skill, I think I have no choice. No choice, no chance. So anyways, my plan uh, with this is right now to, to roast this property and um, on the next turns, whenever this cap is finished, I want to pop a, an artillery here to lock this and basically try to start adding up some um, income advantage. And on the other hand, rushing this uh, property with uh, one of my infantries and covering the cap with a recon that I will will next uh, turn So I will just rush Yeah, you see the recon here, but first since I, I don't need this artillery um, To to cover this and it's not like it can cover the cap if it is not uh, next to it It cannot cover it uh, behind from the mountain. So I will plop it here shoot once it will do 52 damage because it's grim and that way I will uh, make this uh, very close to to getting destroyed this pipe see this even though if he tries to interrupt this which uh, if you try to interrupt this you should do it from here because if you do it from here um, the recon or the potential tank that is coming to to um, to counter this infantry attack, the, the, the tank will be from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, minus the forest. So the forest, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the, the tank, if you attack from here or from here, you will get attack from any vehicles coming from here. But if you attack from here, you basically are forcing uh, the me to choose between the cap and the, the kill and I will have uh, chosen the the, um, the kill basically um, <clears throat> KDA is more important than uh, income one income in my opinion anyways uh, I get the shoot here and next turn I will be able to move this here because I don't think this is in danger for now maybe next turn it will be a start anyways I I'm able to one shot the infantry here and it was not a, a roll and since I'm dropped to 5 HP it doesn't matter so I will get it next turn so it's only delayed by one turn very important and here I will bring the mech to finish this uh, pipe sim and it will be in three turns and it doesn't matter I run out of ammo because I'm sitting on a city but even though I only needed uh, three shots which is what the mech has but uh, we'll need another shot for the recon that is here. Also, I'm trying to, to avoid uh, being on range of that artillery. Anyways, I can see he's bringing tanks here, so I'm answering with my own tanks. I see this infantry here. My plan was uh, to start capping this, start capping this, and plopping on the forest to start capping this next turn which is not mine but I was I have to be the aggressor as Grim if I'm tried to win anyways and all of I don't think it's that bad of a match because until the powers come in place I'm facing a normal CEO like if I were facing Andy or other uh, so I have more room to to abuse my day-to-day -day bonus on early game like look at this this is a roll uh, with our comm tower, I might kill infantry with my recons on roads. It's a 91 to 100% uh, damage. So if I roll max, like this is a kill. 
with a, a comp tower is basically 98 uh, to 107 so it's not guaranteed but it's more likely here I noticed that there is a recon coming here with my mountain if you didn't notice last turn but I checked the replay so I get the K, um, kill here I attack this infantry and I'm, I'm covering it with my uh, artillery so right now you cannot attack this infantry unless you want your recon get blasted he finished my infantry with a tank but that's completely fine because I will be able to attack from the city this tank which will be perfect and golden for me and yeah I will be able to, to attack this recon which right now I have vision because it's sitting on my city if not I wouldn't have so actually if you uh, move this infantry away and attack from here you could have forced me to, to use something to get vision and you didn't know I have a recon so you might have a gotten away with this instead but this is still fine because you are uh, on a high terrain that doesn't allow me to one shot the recon so that's also a play and I get this nice shot which won't be a kill but will be enough to, to cripple the first tank and uh, give me an advantage and I start capping this and to be honest, I'm not expecting to cap this, I'm expecting some sort of interrupt, but I have to be the aggressor, I cannot uh, afford to be shy. I have to, if I want to, to win the game, to have a chance to win the game, I have to play super aggressive. And if I get punished somehow, I get punished somehow. Anyways, I interrupt the cap, I, I'm, I have to, to, be, to be aggressive. I interrupt this cap here so right now I know there is no tank coming because uh, one tank was destroyed and the other tank is dealing with my recon and the the other tank is just come from the base and I know there is an artillery here also but the artillery uh, needs a lot of time to set up to move and then shoot and I was able to destroy the pipe this turn the, re the reviewer doesn't show it but the next turn I will, the recon will sit on the city and I will need another turn but it's, it will be fine because my mech will be finished off instead of my tank so my tank doesn't waste so much time. Anyways, we see the artillery coming here and this is a tricky situation because this is dangerously uh, into my enemy base range. If you see, let's check. <coughs> See, if I get into this forest, I will be in range of the base one uh, tank. But I know he's, uh, he has both a, an infantry, so I know he has a tank here, one artillery here, and probably a tank around this area in the forest most likely. So I think I'm pretty safe to try and destroy this artillery and basically uh, tank the, the hit of the tank. And if he is coming with uh, copters, which he might be, I'm prepared for that. Right now we don't know the income uh, from my enemy, but uh, he doesn't have this. I have, I'm quite ahead on income, but not too too much. And I have to be a great ahead. I have to utilize my my day to day because my day to day is actually quite strong if I'm able to to be the one being uh, attacking anyways I uh, put the recon here because I if I put um, the tank here 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 it doesn't matter to be honest but I was feeling like it would give me vision of any copter coming and if I put it here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 it, it wouldn't reach this tile which is a uh, yeah it, it's nice because if there is a copter the copter will be here so I think it's it's nice because at the end of the day the tank here as long as it has vision which will be uh, the case with this infantry uh, will shoot my, my tanks and planes or rods won't, won't make a difference 
He attacks the recon, which I think it's a mistake in my opinion. But it's a one shot. So and he does this very well attacking from the only tile because this was a trap here. I keep it interrupted and put my artillery to prevent this. And he attacked from the tile next to the forest, which is very smart by him, and he uh, interrupts this with the tank. I destroy the recon and next turn I will get the two caps. I get this cap, I cannot keep interrupting this and I have to retreat here. I cover my artillery with this tank and yeah, may maybe he gets a copter here and gets vision of the tank and then shoot it or whatever but I cannot allow my artillery to to get um, attack and this artillery is on a forest so it's safe-ish I mean it can get spot and attack but it won't get one shot because the, of the forest so it's like if it was on a on a road and he uh, got trapped with this infantry here and if you get trapped or you are attack a pipe sim, uh, the replayer doesn't show. But it's not the fault of the replayer, it's fault of the web that doesn't register the information. I don't know why, but apparently it's that. And he brings a copter here. So I retreat with my injured tank. I take the, the trade, um, which is basically my anti-air for the copter. And I get my power and I blast some units. Yeah, th this is not the best place to attack because if he has a tank here, he will be able to boom, destroy and retreat with this one to, to any city. So it's actually quite a bit of our extension, but since I'm quite ahead on on KD of vehicles, it's fine. And here I uh, join cap because I will get uh, damage and is all off. So now I will get some funds that I can invest. To be honest, I didn't calculate it too too much. But yeah, uh, so I'm saving uh, for the next turn because I know the the um, the winter fury is coming now. So next turn I will be doing the spencing. Yeah, and he brings the tank from, from the base. He shoots at my uh, artillery, artillery anti-air, but it doesn't get too, too much damage. This anti-air will be able to one-shot copters, uh, still. It will be able to one-shot copters on CO power for sure, even at 4 HP I think it can. And on normal day to day, I think it will cripple them very hard. So it's, it's kind of nice. And I know I wouldn't be able to, to interrupt this, but still I will be able to kill the infantry that finish the cap here because I, won't count, I was counting the HP of this. And next turn I will start trying to cap this if I'm not um, stop. And I can, I'm, I'm covering that. I will be covering that, I think. I, I put my tank next to the black boat so it gets repaired now and before moving next turn it will get repaired again. So even though here there is no many cities you can still repair some uh, global damage. So yeah basically I'm covering but not uh, the city. So this is this won't get one shot. I think it won't even get one shot if comes a tank. Maybe it does. I think it, it's a roll. I don't remember. Green calculations of damage are very funny. You can, on super power, you can almost one shot anti air with your anti air. If you have one uh, come tower, which is, if, if the anti air has a little bit of cheap damage, you will kill it. With your own anti air on super power, which is bonkers. Anyways, I use my second power, and the, the reason for that is I, I have to be aggressive, I have to get kills, I have to, to.
to get the stuff done, I cannot allow myself. And here I get greedy and get vision. And if I get trapped, it's fine. If I don't get trapped, uh, I'm, I'm golden, I get vision. So I have to, to be boom, 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 boom. I, th this could be too reckless uh, versus a more experienced player. But at the end of the day, I have to, I have to, to be reckless because I'm on a timer. A second um, Winter Fury will be the devastating, and a third one will be very, very, very detrimental. I didn't get um, interrupt here, which is nice. I get the kill on the recon. I almost one shot this. I interrupt this cap. I check vision of the forest. I prepare my artillery to start shooting at the black boat because unless I cap the HQ, I won't be able to, to finish the game because my opponent simply won't surrender and keep going and make sure the global damage is is doing damage, basically. <laughs> so yeah, even though Grim is not very good and at HQ cast because he is so fragile, it's my only option. In here, I'm retreating for from this front because this was a mid grinder from my units because it was within one turn of the base. So I, I cannot keep up, uh, keep uh, keep up with the uh, fighting here. I have to switch into the middle. I finish this. I cover my artillery from this area. And the next turn I will be able to get the black boat. I retreat completely from this area, even if he starts capping any cap here, I don't care. Because this is now becoming a HQ rush. My mech is not gonna do anything. <clears throat> he attacks my uh, artillery, he gets a shot at my tank, and he does some wheel attack here, which is a mistake in my opinion. You should have built attack here. So I see the infantry and I, see, and I think, okay, this is a base lock. Even though he brings a, a copter, I will knuckle buster. This is warranted with a comp tower. I start capping. And here, this is very important. Look at this, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't reach this style. So if I put my recon here, which takes 50 uh, 55 base damage against copters, um, if it stays here, it won't die. And even though if it drops uh, to 6 HP because of Winter Fury, right now I'm having only uh, minus 10 defense. So mm, I think it will die anyways because uh, Olaf has, yeah, it will die anyways. So <coughs> I didn't calculate it very deeply, but if this was a full HP recon, it could have survived the, the copter. But since I'm I'm green and I have less defense, uh, making your journey sleep a hit, it's very hard. Anyways, I start the cap and I prepare all my units to, to hit to anything that comes close to interrupt it. But mm, I'm not getting it uh, next turn because Winter Fury is happening. Let's see. But my opponent resigns. And the reason for that is my opponent uh, misread the, um, the map. As you can see, I'm activating the vision. My opponent uh, didn't notice that this airport could be cut. Uh, and he did it a bit late. A bit late. He also, um, yeah, he did some mistakes that was uh, for not preparing too much the, the map and just jump, jumping straight to it. But uh, yeah, <laughs> if I don't play with some sort of, of advantage, I don't think this challenge with 
will be possible. I'm currently uh, facing a similar rated uh, player uh, as me. He is also on the 1100s on around the block on Fog. I'm playing Grim, he's playing Yes. And I think I have a shot, a shot at it because it's a map with uh, three bases, but one of them is locked like uh, uh, behind a river, so you can only uh, buy mechs and infantry from that. So I think that will be give me a slight advantage. My opponent picked a yes because he wanted to pick yes. It's not like I asked him. So it's not prepared. Actually, I asked him to play Kindle, but then I realized he was quite good. So it was like, okay, okay, don't play Kindle. This is uh, the second match I'm going to do as Grim. So uh, let's take it easy. Maybe I will try um, something harder next time. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And uh, maybe see you next day for the next challenge on Grim or maybe a cynical series analysis. We will see, guys. Bye bye.